Aha, dinky do. a very good morning to you. Tis me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the World Stop broadcaster, saying welcome, welcome, welcome to our live stream, live on Facebook Live, just for you. Around one hour of superb, scintillating information, education and entertainment, not for just one nation, but for all the nations of the world. So there you are. If you can uh, get yourself onto Facebook, you should be able to see this program. Dinky Doo Scott here says, Jack, good morning, Jack. Lovely to have you with us. God is still is watching. Welcome, God and Dinky Doo. This is going to be an excellent stream this morning. I just know that. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, and we'll get the sharing off right away. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, and I am talking to you and saying Dinky Doo. Kareem Zachariah, welcome. Hi, Scotty McClue. How are you today? We are excellent today, Kareem. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So much to talk about. So little time to do it in. And of course, the hour passes in a flash. I am getting su superb feedback about this program. So they are. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to every single one of you for making it your place to be. Le bonheur du jour. Uh, hello, Scotty. Hope you're well, says Diane Marchand. Diane Marchand. Very well. Do I say your name correctly, Diane? Do tell. Gary Davidson's watching. Thank you, dear Gary. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Thursday morning. Monday, Thursday. So there you are. Monday, Thursday, when the Queen gives out the Monday money. I used to think she gave it out on a Monday. But she gives it out on a Thursday. So they are just to, uh, to confuse the issue for people like myself. Excellent stuff. Uh, Gordon Sterling, we're looking for uh, feedback on the A135. Uh, prices between 8 and 11,000. Could this be true? Is this the case? Sadly, as I say, sadly from my point of view, a lot of them have been sprayed white as wedding cars, and I don't think McClure would suit arriving in a white car. So there we are. We shall see. Uh, Gary Davis is watching. Dinky do, Gary. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Do you know, I've just found an interesting thing. I suspect there's a delay when I talk to you. Scotty, you're the only one who pronounces my name correctly. Thanks, Diane. A privilege and a pleasure. Thank goodness. Diane Marchand, lovely to have you with us. Um, is it originally French, Diane? Or um, what's the origin of that wonderful, wonderful name? Fantastic stuff. Now, I need to tell people that we are live. Otherwise, there's no point in us doing this. Isn't that true? So if everybody can spend le bonheur du jour sharing and sharing, uh, the wonderful Susan Forrest watching. Good morning, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Uh, Ian Kells watching. Hi, Ian. I'm just going to share, guys, so that everybody's got the knowledge that we're on, so that everybody has been tipped the wink, as we say. Tipped the wink. Very, very important. Given the nod just to make sure that not just one nation, but all nations have been given the nod. It appears we could be in lockdown until May. Well, there we are. Well, in that case, we'll have to build a good stream for you. The wonderful Paul Francis Carl's watching. Dinky do, sir. Lovely to have you with us. We didn't get to connect yesterday, but we can do. Scotty dot McClue on the Skype. If you want to come on. Morning, Scotty. This is Colin Pinchbeck. Colin, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. That's what I say. I'm just wondering, is there a delay between me talking now and um, you getting your information back? Dinky do. This is John Jones, Simon Entwistle, and Peter Conley watching. Welcome, welcome, guys. Lovely to have you with us. This is where the world gets together for a chit chat in the morning. We are building the place where everybody meets for a bit of social chit chat without worrying about uh, having to distance themselves. As long as you're two meters back from your device, you should be fine. So there we are. I shall try not to cough. Uh, there we go. I told them I was going live. I told them that. So they should know. I'm just gonna share to the big Scotty McClue page 
to let everybody know what's happening. Uh, as I say, if you can all do the same, that would be just fantastic. No delay for me. So, John, have you just heard me say that? Type yes now, please. Uh, there's no delay, says Jack. How do we know, Jack? Type yes if you've just heard that. That would be fantastic. And uh, then I shall know that you've heard it right away. Gene King's watching. Thank you, do, Gene. Scotty, do you have a favourite beer? Simon Entwistle, I had several favourite beers, mainly camera stuff, but um, I don't drink at all now. I chucked it about uh, four years ago on Christmas Day um, because I thought uh, I need to be going out and driving and what have you. So there you are. And I used to enjoy um, the odd cider uh, and maybe the occasional wee dram and an occasional wee glass of wine, that sort of thing. Yes, says Diane Marchand. So you can hear me right away or your name is French. There we are. Stevie Wilkie's watching. Steve, good morning. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome. Clark Pitchbeck says, Scotty, what do you get when you cross a Scotsman with an, oh, I, I don't know that I could tell that, Colin, but thank you very much. But it may cause a wee stushy. So they believe it or not, uh, you know, what do you get when you cross a mute owl with a skunk? Answer me that one. Do you think the media are being responsible, saying deaths are going down, other media saying it's going up? Seems to be a lot of contradictions. This is playing with people. Um, mental health. Scotty McClure, for me, there's always been a slight delay on this. I see, Karim. I understand. I think so. Well, I've asked people to type yes. Type yes if you've just heard this. So there we go. And that will let us know what is that. Yes, I think the media needs to be very, very, very responsible. Uh, so there we are. Uh, can we check your Skype name, Scotty? We can, Paul Francis. It is um, Scotty dot McClue. So capital S, small c o double -T, t i e dot capital M, small c, capital C, L u e. Add that to your Skype, and then you can Skype me. You're on the trusted list, by the way. Uh, Scotty dot McClue. Thanks very much for that, Jack. Top man. Simon Edwards, old Scotty, have you ever been to Calendar? What a fabulous part of Scotland. Simon, I think you need to add an L there. It's Calendar. And um, so two L's. And yes, and where there's a car park now used to be the railway station because the way to see a lot of that was the West Highland Railway. And uh, sadly, of course, thanks to Dr. Beeching and his cohorts, uh, we no longer have all of that. But uh, you could go to Calendar Station. What you could do when I was young was take your bicycle and just go on a train with it, put it in the guard's van. The guard would put your bike safe and uh, pop a wee, a wee tie on or label on it. And you're, you're paid for your train fare. And then um, you could go anywhere in Scotland on a beautiful day and go for a cycle ride and then get the train back at night. Fantastic stuff. So, I mean, that was living. The other thing is we used to have, uh, you could go to the borders, you could go all over Scotland. You had only to walk a very short distance in Scotland to um, get yourself to a railway station. And then you were laughing. Fantastic stuff. And uh, what you could also buy for, I think it was threepence or sixpence in the newsagents, was a Murray's Diary. And the Murray's Diary had a little uh, purple batter on it. And the Murray's Diary could tell you the times of all the trains and connections and everything for Scotland. So everybody had a Murray's Diary on them. And if you lost your Murray's Diary or you'd left it at home, as I say, it was threepence or sixpence. So there you are. Um, so it was uh, two and a half P or one and a quarter P. I can't remember how much. Anybody do you remember how much a Murray's Diary was? Or am I going back a bit? <laughs> back in the day. Uh, Gordon Rich is watching. Welcome, Gordon. I'm watching live from Dublin. You're coming in crystal clear. Gordon Rich, I thank you. I adore Dublin, as you well know. I wish I could have gone to Trinity College. 
I might do a higher degree there. Scotty, listen to an interview by a 90-year-old retired doctor last week. He reckons back in the day this pandemic would have come and gone. You've said came and went, but we'll say come and gone, and life would have carried on as normal. Interesting. Don't you agree? Well, no, I can't agree because we don't know what we're dealing with. So the 90-year-old doctor, retired as he may well be, and back in the day he didn't have COVID-19 or coronavirus to deal with. I know he was maybe at 90, he could have dealt with some of the big flu pandemics, uh, things like that in the 1950s. I'll tell you what else was very dangerous to the people of this country was a smog, and particularly a London smog. That could kill people in the winter. Dee Gourley is watching. Dinky Dee Dee, lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. David Lafferty, Dinky Doo, you top man. Lovely to have you with us. I've accepted you as a friend, David, on Facebook. There's a huge backlog. Maury Scott, you hope you're well this fine drich morning. That's a great word, Michael, isn't it? A drich day. Yes, a drich day. Can we all share? We need to get these figures up, guys. And you're distracting me with all your interesting chat. So we must get sharing. Otherwise, nobody knows it's on. It comes and goes. I noticed that uh, yesterday we'd um, about 500, for under 500, 400 watching so far. Uh, day before, two and a half thousand. You know, uh, last week, 5,600 in one day, things like that. So it just shows you we need to let everybody know. I'm not saying that. I mean, it may be it just depends on who gets to see it because there's so much content on the platform. Uh, two Michael Clarks, what's the odds? I thought you were the same one, Michael. Thank you. Scotty, I think you should do a live clap for carers on Facebook or YouTube at 8 p.m. tonight. We may well do that, Jack. I want to clap for everyone who's doing their bit out there. I want to clap for the carers. I want to clap for the NHS workers, for the doctors and the nurses and the surgeons and the technicians and the porters and the runners and the receptionists, the ambulance crews, the ambulance drivers, all these fabulous people out there, but I also want to clap for you, the good burgers of, see what I just did there, the good burgers of the planet who are in lockdown. I want to clap for the politicians, yes, yes, and I want to pray for the politicians, and I hope that uh, Boris gets on okay and comes through this. I was appalled to read that some people were um, kicking the man when he was down the other day. Politics doesn't matter. Coronavirus is no respecter of uh, what uh, party you vote for, what age you are, what creed you are, what colour you are. Coronavirus is no respecter of any of that. So we are most definitely. I didn't believe the manifesto when they all used to say we're in this together and uh, we were getting charged with uh, that austerity by the Chancellor of the Exchequer at the time. Shocking. Uh, so they could pay back the bankers. That was a mistrust. That was cheating the people. Having said that, we've come through that. This crosses all divides. This does bring everybody together. So I now accept that we are in this together. They are very, very important. Uh, can you explain Dr. Beeching and Calendar? Yes, God and Richie, what happened is Dr. Beeching in 1962, I think it was, he was uh, um, a Conservative, I think, or appointed by the Conservative Party, and he cut every branch line he possibly could. He cut British Rail back to the bone. In 1948, they nationalised the railways, and you had British Railways. And I think by 1962, if I'm right, there'll be a lot of enthusiasts who will help me out here. Um, they um, cut British Rail back to the bone and closed all the little branch lines and got rid of people. It was also 1964, 65, 
big change from steam to diesel, and then from diesel to electricity. So there was that modernization, so-called, of the railways. But what it did, it robbed us of a fabulous, fabulous public transport network. It robbed us of an infrastructure of superb railways. Now, railways, you could put all the heavy haulage. There would be very little need for all these lorries on the road if all the freight went by rail. Can you see? So there we are. Uh, J.P. Martin and Calendar would be part of the cuts. This is Maundy Thursday, Scotty. Could you give people a wee quick explanation? People that had no money used to queue up all the beggars and the people who were in extremis. And the monarch would hand out coins, special coins called Monday Monday. Uh, sorry, Monday Thursday. She would hand it out on a Thursday. Monday money was handed out on a Thursday to the poor. And they still have a sample of this. And the Queen will hand out Monday money. Uh, probably that will have changed with the coronavirus. Um, so I don't know what's happening to the ceremony. But um, that's the background to the Monday money. It goes a way, way, way back. Alms for the poor. All right. Nikki Graham's watching. Lisa Taris is watching. Dinky do, Scotty. I'll be clapping tonight at 8 p.m. My mum my mom works in the NHS. Well, don't just clap because mum works in the NHS. Thank your mum on behalf of all of us. That is tremendous. But... Um, Clap for everyone, Nikki. That's what it's about. Right. Sharing. Come on. I haven't shared a thing this morning. That's what's wrong. The figures go down. If people don't know it's on. Live now. Get it shared. I'm busy chatting away when I should be sharing it, sharing it, sharing. That's been successfully shared. Excellent, guys. So that's gone out. But we'll do some more. We need to do some more. Because we need to get these figures up. They were way up over the hundreds the other day. Uh, so, uh, Kareem, Scotty, should we do a clap on Sunday night pop-up? Before you finish your pop-up, give everybody plenty of notice. Yes. The only thing is the pop-up goes on at 8. I applaud all the health workers and carers and everyone who's looking after the elderly. All the volunteers, getting them through these difficult times, Scotty. Yes, and all the people, Nikki, people like yourself, all the people watching this morning who are doing a fabulous, fabulous job. Tremendous stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to share to the group, guys. Uh, I don't know if you saw, I did a little bit on Port Glasgow, obviously before the lockdown. Well, quite a bit before. And I just got a new phone and I couldn't work it. I thought I must try out my new phone. So I've got my hand over the camera and I'm looking away to the side because the light was in my eyes. Quite funny. Very amusing. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Alistair King. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Do. I was shocked to see there were still idiots on the YouTube stream yesterday, Scotty, even though only 11 were viewing. Yes, Jack. But that's around 100 now. It's quite interesting. We're building up on YouTube as well. Um, it takes a long time because there's so much social media. It takes a long, long time to get uh, everything uh, working and to build up. Uh, Larry Donaldson, did you do? But the lovely thing is, take comfort. Millions have watched me live on social media since we started going live. And the mornings we've just started, I noticed there was 5,000 this week. Add that to 15,000 last week. That's 20,000 so far in the last couple of weeks. It's very interesting. So although you see small numbers up there and we need to get them up, um, it's very, very interesting that you collectively the accumulator has brought us nearly 20,000 people viewing this in the last 10 days or so. Uh, David Lafferty, well, Scotty, we should be clapping you also, sir. Your knowledge is phenomenal for keeping us all happy at this awkward times. Accordion all ready for tonight at 8 p.m. I wonder if I could manage Scotland the Brave on the accordion. Shall we try it? It's not easy. This is madness. 
because I've had no practice, so it may well be a disaster. Right, let's see. Write down. Comfort break for my clue. There we go. Now then, here is the box. Wonderful, right? Here is the box. Shall we try Scotland the Brave? This is madness, guys. I don't know it. for a first I have never ever played that tune on the box before there we are did you spot how many mistakes did you spot you know and don't say over 500 I can remember I was accompanying a choir and we were in a practice and uh, uh, it was a young people's choir and this girl said to me Sir, you played a wrong note. And I said, I played lots of wrong notes. <laughs> uh, Scotty, you're looking very dapper with your uh, B, uh, with your B at Port Glasgow. Was it just a wee trip to the docks? Now, I'll tell you, John Jones, what I did. Um, I've got an idea for doing just tiny wee snippets of Scottish towns. And I was driving past Port Glasgow, and the day before, the evening before, I think it was, or the day before, the afternoon before, um, I'd just got myself a new phone. And I thought, you know, I think I could do a piece on this. Of course, daft as a brush, I hadn't thought, but you don't know your way around your new phone yet. And I couldn't see the light was very bright. It obviously, being outside can make your screen go almost opaque. And I couldn't find the camera. And I had my, my fingers over it, uh, just partially, but I was holding it by the wrong side of the phone. And, of course, we were in uh, were we in landscape or portrait. I think we might have even tried landscape. Anyway, I also couldn't find how to put the camera off. So if you watch the Port Glasgow, you go into uh, YouTube and put Scotty McClue Port Glasgow, Right? And you'll get two. And it's talking about Henry Bell's Comet, which I've heard has just been condemned. Right? Now, the background to it, well, you'll see it if you watch it. Henry Bell built the Comet in 1812. Right? Very, very briefly. Very briefly. James Watt invented the steam engine, as we know, in the late 1700s. In 1802... They put one in a little paddle vessel called the Charlotte Dundas on the 4th and Clyde Canal, which would be virtually new. And they put the Charlotte Dundas, she was called after the daughter of Lord Dundas, as in Port Dundas on the 4th and Clyde Canal in Glasgow up at the Coo Cadence. So, anyway, Charlotte Dundas... She's on there. Ten years later, Henry Bell, who was an engineer, an engine builder, shipbuilder in Helensburgh. In Helensburgh, if you go along the prom at Helensburgh, you'll see a big um, obelisk, and that's a memorial to Henry Bell. So Henry Bell was a Helensburgh man. And um, in 1812, he built a little boat called the Comet, and she could go across the Clyde between Helensburgh and, uh, and Greenock. So 150 years later, to mark the 150th anniversary of this, Lithgow's, who were an outstanding shipbuilders in Port Glasgow, built a replica of the comet, right? And uh, so this was 1962, and I remember it well. And they sailed across to Helensburgh, so Simpson Stevenson, the provost of Greenock, all the dignitaries from Greenock and Port Glasgow, 
Everybody had turned out to see the comet going across the Clyde. I think it was a wee bit of a hairy trip, wee paddles at the side of her. Anyway, um, after that, the comet was put in a shed in Lithgow's, and then they felt it's a shame this boat's not seen, so they put it as a centrepiece in the town centre in Port Glasgow. And uh, I thought to myself, I want to just recall this and celebrate this because Port Glasgow is a lovely wee place full of lovely, lovely people. But it gets a tough time because it's industry, shipbuilding, um, ropes, all these huge things has by and large gone. So Port Glasgow, like so many towns in this country, is having a tough time because it's not any longer there for its original purpose. If you go to the shopping centre, that's on the site where the shipyards were. And Port Glasgow has got Ferguson Marine now, so it's still got a working shipyard. Fantastic. But as I say, it's a lovely place full of lovely people. And I send love to the people of Port Glasgow. And if you look up YouTube, Scotty McClure, Port Glasgow, you'll get that. But one of them you will laugh your head off at. Uh, Scotty, uh, very, very nice. Sent you a few invites to friends and family to tune in. Thank you, Colin Pinchbeck. Much appreciated. Uh, starter on the key of G. So there we are. David Lafferty, thank you. What did you think? So there we go. Uh, is it better for you, Scotty, we watch you live on Facebook or YouTube? Well, we've just not long started going live on YouTube. And there's a lot of young people, super young people, but they're very, very silly. And uh, they're very puerile. So we don't have the maturity of Facebook. So what I'll do is... I'll upload this to YouTube when I've finished, and then people can watch it on YouTube. But the YouTube channel, you should all go there. We've only got a couple of thousand subscribers so far, but I think everybody should subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel because there's 700 pieces of video and audio on there, a lot of these shows, but um, and each show is different. People get it into their thick heads. They go, ah, is it no kind of the same when he pops up? I, no, it's always different, totally different, because different people watch at different times. So we get all the characters. I was making confectionery last night, Scotty, made some good old hokey pokey, i.e. puff candy, and cinnamon donuts. Now, puff candy, I would imagine, is by and large 100% sugar. Tell us about the puff candy, Alistair. How do we make puff candy? The dentist just cover your ears. Michael Campbell, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. John John's fantastic, says David Lafferty. Can you play bits and pieces on that, Scotty? Oh, I can play lots of bits and pieces, Lisa. Uh, I didn't hear any mistakes, Scotty. You were great, says Jack. Jack, that was pure luck. Pure luck. Because I'm no great shakes at the accordion. And um, I can tell you, although I did, I will blow a trumpet here. I did compose a lovely, lovely piece for the accordion. And it's called The Mermaid. And you'll get that on YouTube. So put in Scotty McClue, The Mermaid. In fact, all of you should follow what a lot of people are doing. They're just putting on the Scotty McClue channel in place of telly and radio. And when they're working in the kitchen or uh, doing stuff, they've just got it on in the background. And it gives them a laugh. There we go. Scotty McClue, I think we all say this on a pop-up. Thank you for coming on every day and keeping all of us Entertained and informed. Uh, Slanjiva. Slanjiva, Karim. Yes, Gaelic for cheers. Very good. I think it's actually Slainte. So L S L A I N T E. Slainte. <laughs> it's wonderful. I remember watching, um, there was a wonderful lady called Mary Sanderman, who's a Gaelic singer. And she, uh, in partnership with the Reverend John MacLeod of Oban, Oban Parish, um, she uh, um, got together and did the Gaelic for the songs Mary Sanderman for the mod, I think it was, Give Me Your Hand, 
was this wonderful tune. It's a lovely, lovely thing. And I was watching um, television with the Reverend John McLeod in Oban sitting beside me. And the Gaelic came on, a Gaelic program. And I said, John, do you understand these as well as you would in English? He went, oh, better. <laughs> so if you remember the Reverend John McLeod in Oban, wonderful man. Fergus and Marine are having a tough time just now. So they are uh, owned by the government for the better part, I think you mean there, Jack. Yes. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, that there was a stushy. Because a marvellous man went in and rescued them. And um, I have plans of the last sailing ship built at Ferguson's in 1936 given to me by the Ferguson's. There we are, one of the Ferguson brothers. There were Ferguson brothers Port Glasgow. I'm not silly on YouTube, Scotty. No, you're certainly not, Jack. But there are one or two, I think you'll agree. Scotty, I hear they're doing a clap for the delivery drivers any time between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Well, John Jones, let's have one now. <laughs> delivery drivers! <laughs> delivery drivers! <laughs> and also we could have a silent applause. So there you are, lots of silent applause for everyone who's affected by the coronavirus Who's got it and who's even not got it? Every single one of us. Massive, massive round of silent applause. Three silent cheers. There we go. Fantastic. Robert Rovers is watching. Uh, Japanese boy, Scotty. Was this the same Mary Sanderman who had a hit with Japanese boy? Yes, Colin Pinchbeck. You're 100% correct. A delightful lady, lovely lady. Mod medalist, Mary Sanderman. And um, this was called Give Me Your Hand. So see if you can uh, look that one up. Not sure if they did it in Gaelic and in English. Eleanor McKinnon, fantastic. Dinky do, Eleanor. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, can we all share? Because we need to see these figures go shooting up. Share to a page. What are we doing here? Share to your story. I'll share to my story and let everybody know that it's happening right now. And if you can all do the same, just share it. Just go to your pals. Are you watching Scotty McClure? Hello, Scotty. I hope you're well this morning. It's great to see another Facebook live stream. Pete Downey, I thank you. Thank you very much. Um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, my good buddy Craig Downey's watching, says Jack. Dinky do, Craig. And Jack, excellent. Eleanor says, hi, dinky do, Eleanor, and hi to you. Lovely to have you with us. Now then, sharing, sharing. Are we all sharing? I'll just put that I've gone live at 10. Pop that up as well and uh, see if we can uh, attract a little bit of attention because what happens is a lot of humanity, their glass is half empty rather than half full. Now, I've never had a half-empty glass, and I've never had a half-full glass. My glass has always been filled to the brim, and my cup runneth over. So we need to get into that mode. So, guys, I ask you, uh, as you clap for all the workers and for all the people who are in lockdown, uh, follow Scotty McClure. Send this round, because this could prove a fabulous meeting place for everyone in the morning. And as I say, I get great positive feedback about these live streams. So there we go. So if anyone's got a Facebook account, and I think about, uh, is it 4 billion people have, um, then they should all be able to watch Scotty McClure right now. So these figures there should be through the roof. You can help by sharing this and telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And of course you'll have criticisms. You'll be saying, ah, oh, shut your face, McClure. For goodness sake, sitting up there full of the blah. Absolutely. But it's very important. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it.
You see? Do you see where I'm coming from? So there we are. Good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful Anne Dickey. Good morning, Anne. Welcome, 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 and dinky-doo. So a good share, everybody, a good old share, and get this round. As I say, we're only uh, halfway through our second week of broadcasts, but already 20,000 have joined us. Uh, thanks for telling me to watch the Facebook live streams. They're really good. I thank you, Craig. Can you say happy birthday to my beautiful daughter? She's 21 today, and I can't get to see her. Eleanor, if she was watching Scotty McClure, we could join the two of you up. Fantastic. We could get her to Skype in. She could Skype Scotty McClure, Scotty Dot McClure, and we'd get her to chaff to her mum. That would be the stuff, wouldn't it? Fantastic. Happy 21st to, um, we don't know what her first name is, but Eleanor McKinnon's beautiful daughter. So there we are, a very happy 21st birthday to you. And dinky-doo from Scotty McClure and everybody else watching you for you. There we are, and saying dinky-doo. Welcome, 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 more sharing. I'm going to share in one of the big groups. That's the one for you lot. Hope I'm been sharing the right thing and not sharing yesterday's. That might explain it. So there we are. Billy. Yes, Billy McKinnon. The beautiful Billy McKinnon who's 21 today. 21 today. She's got the key of the door. Never been 21 before. There we go. Happy birthday to Billy, I say. Right. Big share here, guys. Very important. Ooh. Um, I'm sharing to a group now, so this should be quite fun. And if you can all do the same, there's a lot of people on this group, so that would be rather good. And uh, I'm going to see if we can also um, multi-stream on Scotty McClure's other Facebook pages, and that would make a big difference. So there we go. Thank you so very much, says Eleanor. A great privilege and a pleasure. Mwah. Scotty McClure, have you ever been to Benidorm? I've always wanted to go and see what it's like. People say it's the Blackpool of Spain. Kareem, I have a confession to make. I have never been to Benidorm. I'm not terribly well travelled out with the UK. I'm outstandingly, superbly well travelled in the UK. And I could probably tell you every bit of it because I've broadcast to virtually every corner. I've still probably got to get down on the radio in Kent. And uh, when I was working for Century Radio in Manchester, 5.4 million of a TSA, we joined the station with the Midlands and we joined with the Northeast and uh, North South Midlands, fantastic. And I think we got to about 9 million of a TSA on that. And I've also worked for national radio when you get 50, 60, well, 67 million. So there we are, although not everybody gets the reception, obviously. But um, I can remember a guy phoned me one night and he said the truck drivers were the best because they used to listen to you all the way down from Scotland, all the way through Lancashire, um, over into Yorkshire. And when they went cross Pennine, they flicked, and uh, if we weren't networking, they would pick up the same, uh, they'd pick up, oh yes, if we were networking, sorry, they'd pick up Scotty McClue on the other station. Yes, we must have been networking, or they couldn't have done that. So they would pick it up all the way down Newark docks, all these sort of things over to Hull. Fantastic. And I can remember a call one night, Scotty. Um, I'm a long distance lorry driver from Scotland, I said, right? He said, I'm listening to you on the Queen Elizabeth Bridge uh, in London. And I said, uh, are you for real? He went, yes. I said, where are you getting it? And he was getting it off the back of one of the century um, stations. And he said, he, he said, it's a little bit faint. On FM, is that not wonderful? And another reason, I would have loved to have done some work. I did some work for Radio Scotland, and I would have, BBC Radio Scotland, I would like to have done a lot more for them. Um, and I'll tell you for why. 
I was down in Sheffield working, and uh, at uh, one evening, I just heard the Scottish voice booming out in my bedroom in Sheffield. And I thought, what on earth's happened? And I ran up the stairs, and my radio alarm had been misset in some way and had come on automatically, tuned into Radio Scotland's medium wave, and it was as clear as a bell. And there was a wonderful, wonderful program on Radio Scotland a good few years ago. It was uh, Tom Ferry, fabulous broadcaster Tom Ferry, no stranger to any of us, and he did the Tom Ferry show late night on BBC Radio Scotland. Superbly successful. And uh, I can remember listening to that in the Lake District. And my friends in Cumbria and uh, the North East used to regularly listen to Tom. They loved the show. So there you are. So if you remember um, Tom Ferry on BBC Radio Scotland, outstanding radio. That's what we're missing these days. Uh, what did you have for your dinner last night, Scotty, says Jack. Jack, I had tomato sandwiches last night. Fresh bread, fresh tomatoes, drizzle of uh, virgin olive oil, a little dash of salt and pepper, and just scoffed the lot. Gobbled it up. Wonderful. Good morning, all. I nearly forgot. I was preparing to bake bread. Ah, I thought you were going to say I was preparing to break bread. This being Holy Week, Wayne Watson. So for all the Christians watching, I hope that uh, you're commemorating, commemorating Holy Week. I popped up a lovely service for you for Palm Sunday. Uh, sounds great, Scotty. Oh, it was Jack. It was outstanding. Uh, so you'll see that because obviously a lot of you are very anxious about not being able to worship together at the moment. So check out that service for Palm Sunday from St. Ninian's Episcopal Church in Dundee. It doesn't matter what your uh, denomination of Christianity is. You will enjoy commemorating um, and celebrating Palm Sunday when uh, Christ our Lord rode into Jerusalem on the donkey and the people spread the palm leaves for him. Ride on, ride on in majesty. Uh, dinky do, good man, says Brian Hall. Dinky do, Brian. Lovely to have you with us. Of course, today is Monday, Thursday and Holy Week. Tomorrow is Good Friday. Then you have uh, Saturday. Um, it's interesting, though, because... Would Christ be put to death on the Saturday, that being the Jewish Sabbath? So there you are. And then rose on Easter Sunday. We need to get the chronology right. Uh, thank you for your birthday wishes, says Billy. Billy McKinnon, lovely to have you with us. Happy 21st. Fabulous. You've got the whole world at your feet. Go out there and forage. There we are. A wee quote from uh, from Wind in the Willows. Stephen Menzies, dinky do. Scotty McClure, the weather's shocking today. No, Kareem. The weather is wonderful. We just need to have the right clothes. Every day is a beautiful day because it's a day in your life you won't get back again. So whatever the weather's doing, and we have had, we have been tried and tested by the weather, but nothing to being tried and tested by the coronavirus. So I will celebrate all weathers. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. Happy birthday. Stephen Menzies is watching. Colin Pinchbeck, Scotty, I'll be setting up a live stream from my great tit nest box in the next few days. For those self-isolating, they will see the buds from building the nest till the chicks leave the nest. Colin Pinchbeck, this is wonderful. Fantastic. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue live streaming live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man. Got you there, didn't I? There you are. Listen, listen to him. Would you listen to it? Uh, all that sort of stuff. And um, 
I want to make this the place where all of us meet in the morning. All right. So clear your diaries and uh, put your notifications right. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live. We also do a Sunday night at eight o'clock. Mark Hampshire's watching. Dinky do, Mark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Scotty Dinky do. Thanks for popping up every morning. You're doing a grand service and a credit to your profession. Stephen Menzies, I thank you. It is a privilege and a pleasure and a delight so to do, an indubitable, indubitable delight so to do. So there we are. And um, I mean, I'm not great at many things, but hopefully I can manage a broadcast on the telly. You know, that sort of thing. I was saying to somebody last week, I would love to be given half an hour on commercial television. Cheers, guys. A wee cup of tea. Oh, that's lush. This is um, Errol Grey for the morning. You can also have breakfast tea or English breakfast tea. You can have Assam tea. You can have Darjeeling. All these wonderful teas. Um, good morning, Scotty Dinky Doo. Yes, good morning to you. Excellent. Lovely to have you all with us. Guys, a little bit of housekeeping. Well, we're at it. Where did I put that? Oh. I'll maybe give you all a wee tune in a minute. Yes, I'll give you a wee tune in a minute. Um, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, make sure that uh, you set up your Alexa to receive Scotty McClure. All right, so pop that in as a skill and save it in your routines on Alexa. So you can say, Alexa, play Scotty McClure. Get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. There's 700 videos for your edification and delight, and I want you all to take them up. There's a lot of very funny stuff on there. Um, I'd share the stream to my friends, but they're not awake yet, says Jack. Well, they'll be keeping in, Jack. So you're up in the morning. You're going to be very, very successful in life, Jack. I can tell you that now because your attitude's right. I received a letter from Downing Street yesterday, Scotty. I didn't know whether to read it or send it back, as it could have the virus on it. <laughs> I think, um, I don't know how long the virus stays. I don't think it stays all that long on the paper. Although when I worked in banking, uh, I can remember somebody saying paper was the worst carrier of disease. Now, I don't know how true that is. All I know is I used to count a lot of money and some of it was very, very dirty uh, in those days, the pound notes. And I can remember getting a huge sty in my eye. So there we are. And um, I had to go to the eye infirmary in Greenock with it. And they said, you've probably touched money. What do you do for a living? I said, I'm a banker. So that was that. So if you touched a dirty note and then you rubbed your eyes, you could get a sty in your eye. So there we are. And uh, there used to be a chat-up line that people used on the dance floor when you were dancing. Um, and you would say, do you know, I could live in your eyes. And they would say, I will take the left chin, there's a sty in it. That was uh, supposed to be a funny line for people dancing. None of our shops will take cash for purchases. I know it's a bit strange. What about all the poor souls that have been hiding their money? Uh, Kenny, morning, Scotty. Ken from Gurek, enjoying your show in lockdown. Very entertaining. Loved the classic car chat yesterday. Brought back many happy memories. Keep up the great work. Um, Big Al says hello. Kenny, that is fantastic to hear from you. There's a, a contact going back to my childhood and certainly going back to his and uh, a great chum of mine from Guruk, a, a marvellous man, a very, very successful man who spent his life dealing with quality cars. So there you are. Top man. Thanks, Kenny. Lovely to hear from you. 72 hours on hard surfaces. It lives. Wow, Wayne. However, the advice given is there's no evidence to suggest it does stay on mail. Now, is that 
mail as in letters, or mail as in medieval armor. See what I just did there? Ah! So there we are. That's not the same as saying it does not stay on the mail. So for me, the jury is still out on that one. Well, I think once you've had a look at all your love letters, a good wash of the hands is the trick. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, thank goodness for the rain. My wife's had me doing all the jobs I've been promising to do for years. Yesterday, it was power washing my walls in my back garden. Today, it was painting, Peter says. You can see this. Uh, today, it was painting the back of my old house. I looked outside this morning and said, blast, it's raining. I was so keen to get the painting started. My wee six-year-old Imogen is watching with me this morning. Good morning, Peter, and good morning, Imogen. Now, those of you with a missus, have you noticed how she divvies up the jobs? So if you step on the kitchen floor, no matter what you're wearing, you could be straight out of, uh, you know, scrubbing up for a surgeon's job or anything. You step on the kitchen floor, she goes, oh, watch my clean floor. My clean floor, my clean floor. Watch my clean floor. Then uh, if it's something, she goes, oh, look, there's a slate off your shed. You'll need to fix it. Oh, by the way, your bulb went out upstairs yesterday. I forgot to tell you. So she did this up the jobs. It's very interesting. Why do ghosts like taking the elevator? Because it lifts the spirit. Fantastic. It would be good if you did an alarm clock wake up call on Alexa. The Top Gear guys do it, which I've set for 9 a.m. Fantastic. I should speak to somebody about that. Get Scotty McClue wakening you up in the morning. Uh, one of my dreams was to um, take over from Sir Terry Wogan on Radio 2 in the morning. Uh, fantastic. I went to Halfords for a tin of primer yesterday, and uh, they told me to go online and order it and come back in an hour. So there we are. I think that was shocking, says Alistair. Well, to do with the coronavirus, Alistair. So there we are. And, um, you know, it's an excellent shop. I've used it many, many times. Uh, wonderful place. Wayne Watson is saying, lol, that's good advice. Wash, 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 wash. As we can't get tested, tested, tested. Yes, but Wayne, I don't wish to put anyone's gas at our peep. That's not my thing. Guys, can we share again? What is going on? Share. Share. Nobody's sharing. Um, I'm going to share in a big group here. Let everybody know. We've hardly done any sharing today. The numbers will be down, but you can all watch and share it during the day. Please do that for me. Don't sort of go, hi, it's all well. Don't do any of that because this is a different stream. This is about you. This is about the people. I'm only the catalyst. So there we are. I've just chosen to pop up because, um, you know, we can have a bit of fun. That sort of idea. So there we are. I'll just share there. Uh, I'll share with the gamers and pop that in, and then they can come and join us. Fantastic. Good advice. Alistair Wright's watching. Good morning, Alistair. Mike McCabe's watching. When I first met my missus, now my ex, I intentionally offered to do the dishes. Then intentionally broke a few of the floors. She said, don't do the dishes again. Harsh, Wayne Watson, you're harsh. Maybe that's why she's my ex. Could be, especially if the dishes were worth a fortune. Um, I think we should be taking the idea of drones off China to keep people from being in big groups. Um, shared Scotty McClure, Kareem, you are such a top Man, you've no idea how much your uh, participation in the live streams brings joy to so many. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a lovely person, a delightful man, a proper human being. John Gordon Sweeney is watching. Thank you, John Gordon Sweeney. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Guys, tip me the wink. Would you rather 11 o'clock for the pop-ups? Funny you should say that, Scotty. I drive a company car. I couldn't find the keys. 
So she said, take my car. Yesterday it was, our car needs the screen washer topped up. Oh, by the way, our car's needing the... Yes, oh yes, there's all that. Definitely, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I knew couples that sometimes he doesn't replace the car. Um, you know, and uh, says, no, I'll, 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 I'll use the wife's car. Uh, Scotty was trying to add as a skill on Alexa, but not finding Scotty McClue. Well, Stephen Menzies, maybe it needs to be programmed. I don't know. I just know that you've got to uh, put me in as a skill and save it in the routines. No, I don't mind 10 a.m. It gets me ready for the day. Good morning, pal. Hope you've had a good day, says the wonderful Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Welcome, welcome, I say. I'm getting a bit anxious. I've just realised what the time is. We're going to have to go soon. Um, so there we are. Would you like a wee tune on the, um, a wee tune on the organ or something like that at some point? We can do that for you. I'm quite sure. My girlfriend accused me of being tight fisted. I said to her, go and get your coat on, darling. With glee, she said, are we going out? I said, no, I'm away to turn the heating off. <laughs> Mike, harsh, harsh, harsh but fair. It's wonderful stuff. <laughs> we do like all this. It's wonderful stuff. Yes, yeah, so we tune in the organ. Right, Jack, what would you like? We tune in the organ. The dinky do, I say. What shall we have this morning? Um, oh, oh, um, what about uh, the road to Dundee on the pipe organ? Yes, would you like that? The road to Dundee on the pipe organ. <laughs> Finish. Hey, how about that? Dinky do, I say it to every single one of you. That reminds me, I may get my organ out. Oh, absolutely, Wayne. You know, give everybody a good old tune on that. Uh, Bill Buckley's watching. Dinky do, excellent stuff. It cheers people up during the lockdown. So there we are. Would you like to see Scotty McClue on commercial television on a Friday night, say between half 11 and midnight, taking live calls? Would you like to see that? Do tell me, because I think I'm thinking and pitching one of the television companies. The audience, I have been told, would be through the roof. So there we are. Excellent stuff. We don't mind that. Uh, make it 11, Scotty. I'm struggling to sleep, so instead of waking at 6 a.m., I'm still getting up at... I'm still getting up at 10, because I hate missing the pop-up. Guys, would you like me to change it to 11 o'clock? Do say, because it's your pop-up. I missed my guitar. I had to pawn it for essentials, and now it's closed. I can't back get it out. I'm distraught. Wayne Watson will have to try and get you a guitar. Time is, uh, you know, money is so tight for everyone these days. And what's interesting, it doesn't matter how much money somebody's got because they could still catch the virus. You know, it's it's no respecter of any of these things. Yes, says Elna. Now, Elna, what's that a yes to? Do you want it at 11 o'clock? Great idea, Scotty. TVs, oh, yes. Is that yes for the TV, Eleanor? Great idea, Scotty. TV is the way to go. Well, TV needs new life put into it. And the other day, the wonderful Gordon Robertson was on saying, no, Scotty, radio is personal, TV is not personal. And I said, well, Gordon, we will make it personal. We will personalize television. And it's true. Uh, you're on TV. I'm sharing it because I want to look back on this and my Facebook memories in years to come, to remember the lockdown. 
and we all had a good laugh with yourself, absolutely Kareem, because there's nothing we can do about that unless you are a clinician um, and a bacteriologist and a microbacteriologist, uh, a microbiologist, um, you know, an epidemiologist, unless there's something, you know, a, a specialist in tropical diseases, all these sort of things. So unless there's something, um, where did I see a tropical disease hospital? Was it in Manchester or in Liverpool? Because uh, I used to obviously be driving around the northwest all the time. Either Manchester or Liverpool, hospital for tropical diseases. Uh, yes, absolutely. So unless we are into all that, you know, I mean, we need... People like dear old Sir John Crofton with us now. I'm sure he would sort out the coronavirus because he sorted out TB. There we are. Uh, yes for TV and yes for 11 o'clock. Perhaps more of your listeners will be awake. Well, viewers now. Scotty, you could be the new Jeremy Kyle, says Alistair King. Well, Alistair, you'll not believe this, but Jeremy Kyle took over from me in Manchester. So the Scotty McClue show became Jezza's Confessions. And I think the poor soul had a tough time of it from the audience, actually, for taking over from Scotty McClue. But yes, Jeremy Kyle replaced me in Manchester. So there we are. Uh, Jack Merle is, is laughing. Absolutely. So there we go. So much to talk about. It's a little time to do it. I'm, I'm out of time. I need to dash off. Have a fabulous, fabulous day, everyone. Stay fabulous. Yes, enjoy yourselves, um, do what you can, keep cheerful, keep happy, keep joyful, look after you, and as I say, stay fabulous. Goodbye. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. I'll catch you tomorrow, God willing, weather permitting, for the last one of the week at 10 o'clock sharp, or shall we make it 11 o'clock? Shall we try 11 o'clock just to see? Right. Tomorrow morning, it's 11 o'clock. Tell everyone, and don't forget, all right? Shout out to my Polish friend, Arek, who is in Palma in Spain, watching in Spain. Oh, my God, that would be great. You on TV like Jeremy. There you are, Eleanor. Who knows what might happen? The future is bright for Scotty McClure, and the future is bright for every single one of you. If you take care and stay safe, dinky-doo.